is size actually important? Yes. Yes. Wow. So it's just a lie online when people say that, don't they? Except, except, lie. except if they're really, really small, then we say no. But that's, <laughs> a, that's a white lie. Yeah. So it, I, I always thought so. It's like... Of course size matters. It's like for, for guys with like girls' boobs, it's like it doesn't matter. But... Yeah. It is fun when they're big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just more fun. It's just like an extra thing. Yeah. So it's like, it doesn't mean like we wouldn't see someone that doesn't have huge boobs, but if they have huge boobs, it's like a, an extra. Yeah, just uh, a, a bonus. Is that what it's like for dicks? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have a friend who can sleep with girls with like small boobs. But he claims he can only be in love with girls with big tits. <laughs> it's a very interesting that's, thing. That's so really it's interesting. Like is so that, many shades. Is that love or is that love? Attraction. You know. He claims in love, so he he can have lust for girls who have smaller boobs. But true love only comes with big tits. True love comes in big packages. It seems interesting. Well, so, I can I can I can say I've been in in love like crazy love with a small sausage man, uh, and I managed to be with him for a couple of years together. And I can tell you that if if you're madly in love with someone, only then it does not matter uh, how uh, big of the D is. Otherwise, no chance. Okay, so like yeah. for a friend with benefits or one night stand, you're looking for some size. Yes, yes, totally. Yes, and also no. Why? I yeah, like. But, but you're the, the size queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's say I would prefer bigger ones, but the exception make the rule. Like, say yeah, right. I think so. So like. I think two times in my life I was really have like strong attraction, not love, but attraction to two guys who were like quite small, but somehow it was just crazy chemistry and they managed to stay uh, hard for long enough and it worked. Okay, but so it's a bit like Kiara. It's like when you've got this passion, yeah. right, when you really like someone, then the size doesn't matter. But yeah. generally for everyone else, it does. Yes. But I agree. I had uh, that guy we spoke about earlier in another uh, episode, uh, the one who actually cheated on me. Mm -hmm. He had um, <clears throat> like significantly smaller uh, size than uh, average. <clears throat> and yet uh, I was really attracted to him for a few months. Mm. So I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, so it just seems like this, like... Like extreme lust or love or attraction can overcome the size issue. But you know what? There's um, there's a thing about big sizes. They really look good. They yeah. just look better on a man rather than uh, a tiny size. It's just, it does. It looks better. I it think is, aesthetically. Is that, is that it looks masculine? Or? Oh, yeah. Okay. A very, very masculine. So would you say that if a guy does have a smaller penis, you think of him as like less manly? Yes. <laughs> it's so interesting like how it changed by time. Because when you see these like beautiful sculptures mm -hmm. with this like perfect body, it's not yeah. a six pack, it's like a 10 pack abs and you have these like teeny tiny penises i get that they are not yeah but it always erected. made me it always made me uncomfortable whenever i'm in but a they're museum so teeny tiny like and i'm like why is it so tiny well the ancient greeks felt that um masculinity was that a perfect penis was a small penis why I would guess because society better was run for, by men back then. Ah. <laughs> and it's uh, better for Greek. Maybe it's easier yeah. to slip in. Greek wives were more like property, you know. Ah. So Maybe that's why they call it Greek. I don't think female pleasure was uh, a priority. <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah, you're right. So it's definitely aesthetically just uh, more pleasing to the eye, I would say. And it also demands 
respect is how I see it. It demands respect. It's like like the penis itself, or it, it makes yeah. you. Do you respect a man with a big penis more? Yes, I do. I don't know. It's just uh, my cave woman uh -huh. uh, instinct. It's like okay, okay. So either you have the big D or a big car. And, oh, yeah, and you get the well, that, that definitely helps, you know. When you have a small D, you gotta make it up. Wow. And you know what? There is this phenomenon with guys <laughs> with big uh, venerer and teeny tiny dog. And it's like such a funny thing. And then they always tell me like, I have a big D so I can have a tiny dog. I always feel oh. like... That's just like guys who have inherited the tiny dog from like a, an ex-girlfriend or something. Wow. You know, I never understood the man with the tiny dogs, to be honest. I honestly think the main reason most men get a dog is to attract girls. So yeah, but it makes sense to get one that they like. Every porn star I know, like male porn star, they have this teeny tiny dog. Like Eric, guys, Eric Everhart, he has the tiny Pomeranian. But my personal preference is a big dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big dog. I'm sensing a theme, Kiara. <laughs> <laughs> big dog, big car, big uh, bank account, um, big sausage. So bigger is always better. Yes. Big smile. Mm. <laughs> big yeah. eyes. How about big teeth? Big teeth. Well, it's better than tiny teeth. Yeah, you don't have little baby teeth. Tic Tacs, teeth. yeah. <laughs> no one's... Um, okay, so let's break this down. So, um, <laughs> it, it, obviously it seems size is important. So I get distracted. Important. So, is, is length important? Yes, 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 yes. For me, it's important because if it's too long, it can definitely hurt me. I'm quite short, but okay. I think you're different. No, actually the same when we talk about size, usually people are all like, they so concerned about the length, like how, how long is it? But actually what's more important is the thickness. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, but when you, you generally speaking about like how big a dick is, you would just mean like the length. So if somebody has like a really long dick, but it's like really uh, not thick then i feel pain it's like this and like it's useless stabby mm. stabby feeling pencil so, in a pencil case yeah i read about mm. this because yeah i understand so that's it's not good but uh it's better to have i would say like a medium size what's a medium length, size medium length with a medium let's, um, let's talk what, what, what's, what's, than like an actually really long what, one with a medium, medium size thick. yeah let's talk numbers what, what how long should a dick be so medium is like 15 centimeters average like it says like 13 up to like 15 16 that's like an average yeah let's say like size. 13 15 centimeters okay, so you're looking at five to six inches roughly um that's average that I sounds would say. average yeah and as for the width right so, so actually oh, we're just talking about length at the moment okay. So actually, like when it comes to size, like guys are obsessed with measuring how long they are. Yeah, but and not the thickness. You've both just said that you like big guys, but actually when it comes to length, which is what most guys measure, you actually like average. Well, you know, it can, it, like it can be 18 centimeters, still fine, mm -hmm. but it can be as long as it is. Um, but the length doesn't add any pleasure. Uh, Depends. It only comes if, if it's thick. Then it's fine. Because if yeah, the, so the length itself the, doesn't add any you know, pleasure. You kind of the head part is thicker, control, then it's better. Feeling. You can control your dick. doesn't matter the length. If it's like super long, you can still control how much you push inside mm -hmm. of it. So th this is easily manageable. Yeah. So that's no problem. Yeah, but definitely it has to be at least 13 to 13 plus cent centimeters. Because it so limits the, the positions. Like you can yeah. only yeah, that's true. do a missionary so, or, or a doggy if it's like really short. Yeah. So you're looking at at least five inches? Yes. Anything less than five inches? I mean, my uh, ex-boyfriend uh, had a way shorter sausage. Mm-hmm. 
and still somehow I managed to enjoy. So, but like you said, you were in love, and we established. I, I, I was so much in love yeah. that even if he had a pencil instead of his sausage, I think I would still enjoy it. Yeah, so that's a special case. A special case, but, but um. So most guys, so if you are like under five inches, it's a worry. I like think you're going to have to compensate you know, in some ways. I think uh, under 10, 10 centimeters, it's very tricky. Seriously. <laughs> so, okay. So lengths wise, we... Yeah. So length wise, I think good. we've got sorted. And I've got to stop saying the D word. I'm not... I haven't yeah, said Yeah, you two it. have been really good, but I've been so bad it. at it. It's so hard not to say. Um. So then we're getting into like... This is, seems to be like what gives you the pleasure is the wits. Yeah. And I think the reason for that is that the bit where there's lots of nerves in the vagina is the walls of is, the vagina yeah just the first four inches i think so like you say anything like around the five inches by. up is fine mm -hmm. um so yeah so what how how wide should so how could we measure a sausage that? be um some people wouldn't measure the circumference circumference but some would measure um or like compare like the diameter Mm -hmm. it's easier to do with the diameter because actually the condoms are sized like that mm -hmm. with the diameter so the average condom is like 52 millimeter 52 millimeters uh, yeah okay, and there is this brand so just um so 50 millimeters is like what two inches oh okay, that's quite yes. wide um you know, I got to say I thought the average condom was around 47 if I recall. No. So that's slightly under 2 inches. But like the most basic you can buy in the yeah. supermarket they usually like 50 or Okay. 52. Just but there is this great brand the name is like my size. Yeah. And the actually like, the biggest one is 69, but sounds super sexy anyways, right? And that if somebody wears the 69, I know that's really thick. Yeah, and it feels really good. So, uh, um, but that's interesting because, like, for me, I figured latex stretches. So it's maybe not you know, that's a measure of the condom size, not necessarily because, mm -hmm. like, forty-seven millimeters and sixty-nine millimeters. So I would it's say it's not a big difference, you know. Yeah, but I would it's say very small difference. Um, how can I tell if I like the width of the D? is that if in the very beginning it goes in slightly like harder you know oh like it won't go all the way in first thrust yeah because that then it's gonna be perfect mm -hmm. because if it goes in like super smooth in in the first you know movement yeah then it, it might not be the best yeah there's not be enough friction i guess so it has to be a little struggle in the beginning. Yeah, it's it's a good feeling when it actually like stretches you out. Right? Yeah, very like, good feeling. Yeah. Mm. When it takes a few minutes to like acclimatize, uh, let's say. Yes. So that's like a good um, width, I would say. But um, but if the girls say you know not so turned on, then maybe that would. Oh, Do then the it's uh, yeah, but then it's a uh, painful. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And it's painful. You have to be turned on, obviously. So uh, it's it's important. It's very important. <laughs> you look like you're having some memories there. I just it's just it's like nothing else. This feeling, right? Yeah. When a sausage enters you, it's like ah. <laughs> no, I, I always say this that like that. F it's the same for guys. Like that first thrust. Yeah. Feels better than all the subsequent ones. It's just like and your the last whole body one. feels it. 